Okay, day 14. I got some of the footage back from the short film we did, Delirient. And what I'm realizing is that along with taking class today in the morning, I'm, I'm learning that acting on camera is a lot about building out your imaginary slash real physical logistics in re with respect to the, playing the camera, right? So I had a shot, I was like this, and I realized I could have done a lot here, but not knowing the shot, I, I did this, which didn't really play to the camera. What I needed to do was, I think you're always playing in front and behind, like on this plane, right? It's always forward and backward. Um, what I was doing was I was trying to play side to side where, um, cause uh, it's, it's about like hitting your angles, 45 degree angles, and then um, about playing forward and back. But anytime you go side to side on camera, it, it, it's not as powerful and it doesn't uh, communicate as well. I thought it was like all about emotional pitch. So I think I have like that, but what I'm realizing I'm lacking is physicality um, within the, the, the camera medium, which is, yeah, this way, or it's, it's a lot of, I'm trying to like watch myself as I'm doing this, right? But I mean, so one of the scenes was like, we wanted to kill you, Mark, but I should have been like, we wanted to kill you, Mark, you know? So if, if, so if Mark was right in front of me, it'd be like, we wanted to kill you, Mark. You know, and this is stronger than we wanted to kill you, Mark. Even this is like dramatic. So maybe like, it's all in the eyes I'm realizing. Stillness is good. Um, if you are gonna make movement, make it back and forth, do it from, from here. I don't know. It's, I, I wanna learn more about the camera, I think, so I can understand how I relate to it. <sighs> I was really discouraged earlier today because I saw the footage and I was disappointed with the result. But I, should, I realize now that it's more about the process. I, I've always known it's more about the process and I'm glad it's not good right off the bat because it's all about working on it. But, oh my God, I was, I was so down and so discouraged and feeling so bad for myself um, because you know the result didn't look good to me. But it's all about learning. It's, it's all about learning. I think at this point, like we're so early on in the career, we can't get caught up on, is it good or is it bad? It's like, how do we make it better? What do I need to do to make it better? So yeah, getting up caught up in the result is like a result of being self-conscious and a result of like uh, perf being like a perfectionist, like wanting to do good every single time. But you gotta know that you're gonna take these L's. And so like, I'm trying to encourage myself. This is probably, honestly, like I'm bouncing back pretty quick. Because typically, like, it might take, like, I don't know, a day. And, like, I would just, like, feel bad and not, like, process what I did wrong or, like, how to improve. And so now I now that I'm, like, I let myself feel bad, right? I took a, a little power nap. I took, like, two minute, like, two, I took, like, a two-hour nap. And then, you know, I was still feeling bad afterwards. But I called Ellen because I think she was also feeling anxious about... Um, you know, the future of her business because she's getting a lot of outside stimuli as well. And yeah, the inner voice has to be really strong, I think, to know that you're doing the right thing, that you, that you are, you know, that you're not bullshitting yourself either. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to support her. I'm trying to support myself. I think we're gonna be better for it. Um, I'm really grateful for Ellen uh, being so supportive of me in, in my pursuit of my career and, and in the relationship. And I owe a lot of my, um, where I'm at right now due to her. Uh, she's the one who kind of, um, lit a fire under my ass. And for that, I'll be all, like always grateful to her. Um, we got an event coming up this Saturday. I'm realizing like 
all these mistakes that I've been making and like how to improve on them because um, I don't know, I, I just be so self-conscious and it's hard to get over that, but we're working on it like day by day. Like I'm trying to like, you know, get rid of the ego, like, like remove the ego from the equation so we can just learn and grow better. But it's hard, but I can do it. I believe in myself. Um, we're, we're just focusing on it one day at a time, one step at a time, one exercise at a time. And that goes for every aspect. Today I was in the gym. Uh, I played basketball and um, I realized I was doing all these drills when I should have been focusing in. I have, I, I'm pretty sure I have the ADHD just because my attention gets split so many different ways. And I guess it's hard to prioritize what's important. You know, because everything's important. So it's it's like, where do you start? Like, how do you how do you put that value on what you're supposed to work on first? Or like, you know. So I'm still working on that, like prioritizing, like placing like highest value to like you know, like um, I think the word is. I mean, prioritization is a good way of putting it, but maybe like um, conscientiousness or like. Um, I don't know, just having like a problem solving mindset, like knowing you have limited resources, how can you best most efficiently use those resources? I think in basketball, I think in acting, I think in business and uh, just life, you have to you have to make sacrifices and you have to know that some things are higher priority on the list, you know, immediate urgent, like you gotta categorize it. I'm still working on that. I want to get better at talking to the camera too. And I, eventually I think I want to be able to leverage this um, in terms of, what's, what, what am I looking for? What, um, content creation so that I can partner with brands so we can make money off of that. Um, affiliate marketing, I guess. I do want to uh, do more affiliate marketing. I want to do more modeling. I want, you know, like, Even as I say it, I'm, I'm realizing how how far split my my attention and priorities are, even in this moment. So, yeah, I, I really gotta sit down and like because I was I was even trying to make a workout plan for myself, and it, and all of a sudden there's like 15 exercises that I think are important. I'm like, why can't I freaking um stick to something i think it's about building a strong foundation so that's what i'm gonna try okay that's gonna be the key strong foundation i think that's that's gonna be my mantra for um these next few months next few weeks next few days next few years is like build a strong base that that we can stand upon um because reading this book this sports science exercise book by this British guy who graduated and like, I don't know, he traveled the world like looking for, <laughs> I'm laughing at how like scatterbrained I am. But you know, I feel like Kanye right now, <laughs> like on his like ranting. Um, that's basically what I'm doing. But he, he traveled all over the world. He found that like, there's like these certain basic exercises that are super important. Um, for anyone's athletic base, you start with the athletic base. And then the same way I want to work on establishing a um, an acting or auditioning base, um, a strong like a uh, uh, mapping out of physical and imaginary physical logistics of each scene, um, and as well as the emotional logistics of each scene. So starting every single um, acting uh, thing I do with the, 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 the map. So we build out the map, we build a strong environment, um, we, we uh, pick a strong character, we make a strong choice, and then we understanding that it's a, I don't even know what this plane is, right? This forward back plane, less so than this 